This guided shamanic journey is brought to you by SacredSoulCenter.com and ShamanicJourneyersClub.com. At SacredSoulCenter.com, you can find a variety of local and online programs, courses, and personal soul sessions providing you a space for conscious healing. Our Soul Evolution team is here to inspire, educate, assist, and walk with you on this path towards enlightenment. As an extended sister of Sacred Soul Center, Shamanic Journeyers Club is a membership-based community providing you solid tools for soul growth, a global community of like-minded seekers, and a safe space to explore and navigate your own personal soul space. At Shamanic Journeyers Club and Sacred Soul Center, we hope to be an integral part of your spiritual journey and a trusted resource for deepening your path. Find out how to become a Shamanic Journeyer member by visiting our website at shamanicjourneyersclub.com. I'm your host and co-founder of Sacred Soul Center and Shamanic Journeyers Club, Dakota Walker, and on behalf of the entire Soul staff and from the heart of the Appalachian Mountains, I welcome you to today's Guided Shamanic Journey. Today's meditation, Preparing Your Soul Garden, is about looking at our internal landscape. What do we have that's currently growing or not growing? Looking at the weeds in our garden. Beginning that preparation for the east direction, we take a good look at what needs to go what needs to be watered and nurtured, and the overall health of our garden. We make the necessary changes and modifications now so that when the East comes around, we're prepared, we're ready. We're ready for our visions and our sacred purpose to come to life. We're prepared for growing the dreams that we came into this lifetime to realize. And so I want you to start by taking in a few deep breaths. Making yourself present. Feeling yourself sinking into this body has held you for so long. And start to consciously bring in your guides. Maybe the guides that you just discovered in last week's meditation. Or maybe guides you've been familiar with for a very long time. Allow them to come in and surround you and support you. To be with you on this journey through your garden to help illuminate for you some of the things that you need to acknowledge or address. And just breathe in their presence. And from an unspoken space, of gratitude for their beingness. And taking another deep breath.
And another deep breath, and this time, breathe in from the earth. And bring all that energy up. Up into each chakra. And just let that breath come out of your crown chakra and fall gently over you. going to begin today's journey with your guides on either side of you. I want you to see yourself at the start of a path. This is your soul path, your life path. This is the path that you have walked from birth until present day. as you and your guides embark on this journey I want you to be aware of how this path feels what does your surrounding area look like and take notice of everything. How big is your path? Are you walking on sand or maybe soft pine needles in the forest floor? Or maybe it's rocky? Do you feel safe? I want you to start to see the different obstacles that you've had to go around or through or over in your life. And as you come up on them in the path, just recognize them for what they really are, teachers and lessons. Moments of learning grace, forgiveness. And take notice if your path begins to change or feel different. What would you change about this path if you could change anything? How would you change your journey through it? The way you walk? The way you experience it? Accept it or not accept it? Take notice whether you can feel the sunlight or is it moonlight? What time of day? What season are you in? Everything has a message for you if you just pay attention.
And up ahead, I want you to see a bend or a fork in the road, a fork in your path. And if you stand there looking at both directions, one way looks easier, flat, easy to navigate. And the other way looks a little more difficult, more obstacles, more valleys, more peaks. I want you to choose which way you would like to go. And as you take this path, you realize that there is beauty. It may be different, but there is beauty everywhere. You're going to come to a body of water. This body could be a creek, a pond, a river, an ocean, whatever it is for you. Take notice of the color, the depth, the feeling. sound? How does it move? Is it moving fast or quick? Is it moving slow, still? And all around this body of water you see just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of beautiful, beautiful rocks, beautiful stones. you to choose however many stones that you would like to have to carry with you, but with each stone you pick up, I want you to dip it into the water and carefully look at it. I want you to ask the stone if it is willing to be a part of your garden, and if it is, for each stone you take, I want you to leave in the water a gratitude that you have, something that you're grateful for in your life. And that's the exchange that you're going to make to take these stones with you. And so one by one, pick up a stone, dip it in the water, look at its beauty, ask if it's willing to be a part of your garden. And if the answer is yes, leave a simple gratitude. And when you feel that you have collected the stones that you wish to take with you to your garden, begin again on this path that you have chosen. And still taking notice of all of your surroundings. Being gratitude for the beauty. gratitude for the moments that the path is easy, 
understanding, gratitude for the obstacles, for what they teach you. And up ahead you start to see a clearing. This is your soul garden. And as you start to come closer, feel the energy. And take notice of what's growing. Is it abundant? Is it green and full of life and colorful? Does it possess a lot of weeds and need some gentle care from you? Is it barren? Pay attention to every little detail and just be an observation right now there's no need to change anything or add or take away just be aware using all of your senses how does it smell what does it look like what do you hear what do you feel what emotions start to rise up inside of you part of your garden? Is there an element of water or air or fire or earth? How do they show up? Reaching down, I want you to feel what the earth looks like and feels like and tastes like. Put your hands in the dirt and feel it. Is it moist or dry? And then I want you to actually taste the earth. And what does it taste like? Is it acidic or earthy? What does it smell like? Consciously, I want you to begin excavating this soul garden, manicuring it to the way that you want it to be. Adding water where it's needed. Weeding. Pruning. And as you're doing this, be aware of what it is that you're taking out of the earth if you're weeding. Is this a person in your life that you've needed to forgive? Is it an obstacle that you've needed to overcome? Is this an area of your life that you have neglected or ignored? This is an emotion that you've held on to for far too long. Whatever it is that is keeping your garden from being soulfully abundant, acknowledge it and ask what it is that you need to do to recreate this garden, to replenish it. And as you go through this process, lean into your guides. Let them help you and show you. What 
Let them be a part of this preparation. And take a moment also to recognize how beautiful this garden is, even if it has weeds, it needs cleaning and pruning. Look at the beauty, look at the beauty that shines through all of those weeds, all of those spaces that need cleaning up. There is still growth, there is still beauty. I want you to find the center of this garden. And sitting within the center and just feeling the energy of everything around you, the guides surrounding you. Acknowledging the path that you had to take to get here. Whether you took the easier path or the harder path, it was a path that you chose. And all those stones that you collected at the body of water, one by one, I want you to place them somewhere in your garden, close to the center, so that you can be reminded of those beautiful things that you're grateful for. That, that gratitude can be an anchor. As we begin to make our journey back, You're going to notice that on the opposite side of where you came in, there are two more paths. And I want you to just take notice of each one, what they look like, how they feel. And off in the distance, you can see where each one leads. And one path leads back to where you are now. And the other one leads to something different. What makes that path different? It might be something that is more beautiful than you've ever imagined. Or it might be something that you've, you don't want in your life. And I want you to make a conscious decision of which path you would like to take. one step at a time with your guides on either side of you 
Bring yourself back. Bring yourself back. Knowing that you can always take this journey into your soul garden at any time and sit within it, feel it, weed, prune, clean up, nurture. Our gardens need continual maintenance. And when you do this maintenance to your garden, you're always given a choice of a different path. And you can choose at any time whatever path you want to take. When the east direction comes around, we will return back to this path, back to this soul garden. And we'll begin planting the seeds. But for now, just be in this moment of preparing. Fall in love with this internal landscape. And appreciate its beauty. Awesome.